Howdy folks, my name is Andrew Flair and you're watching Foul Friday. Case, I case, I case, I case. What's up guys? Welcome back to another one. I know I'm an idiot for doing this. Welcome back to another Bobby Guy film. And uh, I welcome all of you, all you new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome. So today guys, we are gonna be talking about public land duck hunting. We're gonna to stick to ducks today. Uh, this is gonna be for marshes, wetlands, bottoms. So whatever you guys call your, you know, public land, whether bottoms, wetlands, marshes, whatever you got, this is gonna to pertain to you. So guys, I know I have a bunch of you viewers here from Kansas. I know I hunt uh, the bottom, you know, Cheyenne Bottoms, uh, Inman, uh, McPherson. If you guys have any good, uh, you know, bottoms, any wetlands, anything like that, drop a comment down below because I'm interested in going and checking them out. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. It feels good to be back in the Foul Fridays studio here. Studio Man Cave, you know how it goes. But it feels good to be in here. I feel like I haven't been in here for a while and uh, I'm ready to freshen this bad boy up like I've said in another video. I'm gonna redo all this new walls and and lighting and all this stuff. So you guys have any recommendations for what I need to do back here? If you guys want me to put a pegboard or something, let me know, a brag board, whatever you guys want to do, let me know down below. Here we go. First and foremost, like I stress all the time, is scouting, guys. You still have to scout your public lands. Scout them, scout them, scout them. Especially if you have, you know, a few, you know, if you have two or three options of public land hunting, scout them marshes and find your best areas. You know, uh, some marshes might be better than others, but some areas of the marsh is gonna be better than other areas of that marsh. So scout, scout, scout. With scouting, one of the biggest things that's gonna be probably the, one of the top two tips of this video is when, when scouting, pay attention to where your birds are coming from to the marsh, wetlands, whatever you wanna call it. What direction are they coming from to get to that marsh? It's very, very important. Why I say that is because you know public land hunting like I do, and it can get extremely busy and extremely hectic in the season, especially in the beginning, early season. So knowing where them birds are gonna be coming into that marsh, what, and from what direction, what side of the marsh, you know, north side, south side, whatever, knowing that and sitting your spread so your spread is the first to be seen is one of the most important things that you guys can do in public land, marsh, wetland hunting. In all, you know, waterfowl hunting, whether it's goose, duck, it doesn't matter, you always wanna pay attention to where your birds are coming from, what direction they're coming from. You want to be the first visible spread that they see. Now, to add to that tip, you know, to, to be the first one to be seen so you have a better hunt, so you're the first, you're the first spread that the ducks see. To add to that, pay attention, guys, to other people's spreads. So when you're walking in, you know, or you're boating in, whatever you gotta do to get in, Pay attention to people's spreads. See what they're using. See how many mojos they're using. If Are they using paddlers? Are they using, uh, what type of motion decoys? Are, are, do they have any motion? If you have a group beside you that's shooting a ton more ducks than you are, you know, whether it's a half mile, quarter mile away, they're shooting a bunch more, you know, try to journey on by and check out their spreads. See what they got going on. It's only for your it's only to better your hunts. So what I'm saying is, a lot of times spreads look the same. You know, people throw out a dozen or two floaters and maybe a mojo. Now, I know you guys have seen the mojos on long, long poles. They do that for a reason, guys, to attract attention from those ducks. So them ducks see that tall mojo pole and, and from, from farther away, so they're gonna, they, they're gonna tend to come to your spread more than the guy beside you. Another tip to spreads. So you're gonna pay attention to spreads. I know it's not cheating. You're, you're just trying to better your hunt. You're not copying other people. You just wanna see what they're using. It's only for your, your benefit to do this. Now, to add to that, do not sit your decoys up behind tall trees, tall brush, you know, where the birds can't see the spread. You want to have an open water area, you know, that's visible from the direction that them ducks are going to be coming from. A lot of times people 
will sit up you know on the back side of a tree row or on the back side of some tall brush and if the ducks are coming you know from behind you or if they can't see your spread they're not going to know you're there and if you can't see the ducks you're not going to know when to call so make your spreads visible as visible as you can Another thing, motion, 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 motion on the water. Motion is so important. If you have still water and that water's not moving, I know I've put it in other videos. Those of you that's been here, uh, subscribed for a little while, I've talked and I have preached motion on, on the field and on water. You have to have that water moving. If not, it's not gonna look realistic, guys. So, you know, bubblers, paddlers, spinners, whatever you gotta use, Jerk cords to, to, to get that water moving is gonna be in your benefit. Lifelike is what you guys need to strive for. Your decoy spread needs to be lifelike. Now, that being said, that goes for calling also. So, so pay attention to the guy beside you. The, the guy beside you, if they're smoking them, they're just freaking waylaying them and knocking them dead, pay attention to their calling also. How are they calling? Are they calling heavy? Are they calling light? Are they just sending freaking hell calls when they see a duck a mile away and it's working? What are they doing? How is it working? It's only to your advantage to pay attention to those things, guys. Now, believe me, guys, I know there's a lot of you avid hunters out there that's been hunting just as long as me, or if not more, or four years, or five, that know all this stuff, but I think it's a great reminder for all of us with the upcoming season, it's almost here, and I know I have a lot of you beginners out there, and that is what I love. I love you, I, I, I love you, I love you, oh, I just love you. But I love having you beginners here. That's why I created this channel, is to target you beginners and, and just you know give you that kick in the butt to help you learn faster so you become better waterfowl hunters at a faster pace and you don't have to go you know, five full years of going through the trials of learning this stuff. I, I wanna help you guys, that's why this channel is here. If you're from Kansas or if not, surrounding states, whatever, let me know what marshes, what wetlands you guys prefer most. Let me know the pools, pools also. So if you hunt Cheyenne Bottoms, you know, uh, Quivera, any of that stuff, let me know what pool that you guys hunt most. I'd love to, I'd love to come hunt with you guys also. So let me know down below. I, I'm looking for some good, some, some really prime public land hunting this year. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, we, we, I've been stuck on goose hunting. It's just kind of abundant literally right around my house so it's really easy for me just to goose hunt and uh ducks you know it's just not it's not as abundant here but guys i think i beat the beat, beat that to death enough uh i want to give you guys a an update on the our ducks waterfowl company uh and the pro staff situation i'm going to be having a video uh pro staff update for you guys we have sent out so many emails and replies to you guys. It is unbelievable the response and the support and the energy we have coming from you guys for this for, for our Ducks Waterfowl Company. Let, let me spit it out here. Guys, like I said, you blew me away with your response. All you guys wanting to be part of the pro staff. Believe me, we're gonna include as many of you as we can. We're gonna have two different levels. That's all I can say. Uh, but be looking out for that pro staff update or just I'm gonna it'll be coming you know in a few days probably if not Saturday Sunday maybe Monday Tuesday I don't know but it'll be coming uh, and also also I have two hunts from last year two both of them being with flair that I have never posted so if you see late season goose hunt video coming up it will be coming up here shortly watch it because this hunt was freaking badass and I and I've been holding on to it for you know th this time of year right before the season hits to give you guys some juice so be looking out for that video I'm excited to drop it but I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, it's, it's for all you beginners mainly and and just to and it's a kind of a refresher for all of us Pe people people like me that's been hunting for this long but I hope you guys enjoyed drop a thumbs up if you did uh, subscribe if you haven't guys We're, the community's growing we got big things coming with the ducks waterfowl company me and flair is going to be traveling and and hunting and bringing people in and and doing all types of crap it's insane what's going on so subscribe if you haven't have a good one guys